I've been told to love myself. I try, but I can never understand. It's hard. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a beautiful day, almost 20 degrees, so I thought I'd get myself organized and prep my food, my keto food for the week so that I can spend more time in the garden. My shopping deliveries arrived this morning at 7 a.m. and I've been and gone to the gym. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I cook up my food um, which is all on a ketogenic diet and how I prep it and store it for the week which then obviously gives me time to do other things rather than spending every single day in the kitchen so if you are interested to see how I prepare my food for the week please keep watching as you can see the mushrooms have browned really nicely in the olive oil and they're ready to come out. So while the mushrooms are being uh, fried up, I'm just going to get the red onions ready to fry up as well. Just cut them up really roughly. This is what they call multitasking. We've got two or three things on the go. So this is a very time saving exercise because if you prep your meals up until say for about a week then it obviously gives you time outside of the kitchen and you don't have to concentrate on what you're going to be cooking every day um, this obviously works for me I mean obviously if it if you prefer to be in the kitchen every single day then go for it but I've got better things to do than spend so much time in this kitchen Right, so now I'm just going to roughly chop these onions. I mean, you can use brown onions, but these red Spanish onions are the best in my opinion. This is where you're getting all your macronutrients um, from vegetables and your protein. Okay, just empty them into a container and let them cool. So in the same pan, we're going to fry up the onions. I've added the onions to the pan and now I'm just going to put in some more olive oil and let them fry up. Okay, the onions have been cooked, they've been fried up, now I'm just going to add them to the mushrooms and I'm going to get started on the meat. So that's just some of the vegetables that I've cooked up so far but there's a few more to go so please keep watching I'm going to be using or I'm going to be cooking up some Australian oops, lamb cutlet I'm going to put some more olive oil into the frying pan or the skillet there's about 439 grams of this meat but of course I'll only be eating about 60 grams a day and the fat stays on we don't cut off the fat we simply render it, but we eat this wonderful saturated fat. Cooking up some Scotch fillet steak, and there's 500 grams in that. So this meat between me and the family should last for a couple of days, if not a little longer. So I'm going to put that beautiful Australian beef. You've got the fat there, which will keep on as well. Now to the meat, I'm just going to season with some Himalayan rock salt and some black pepper, and that's it. There's olive oil in the pan, and of course those juices and that fat will definitely not go to waste. If only you could smell what I, could, what I can smell. So the meat is ready and now I'm also going to put the meat in a container and let it cool down before I can put it into a freezer. So now with all those juices that have been left over for the, from the meat, I'm not going to waste and I'm going to now fry up 
my leafy green. Add some more olive oil. Now the final stage is to cook up some broccoli with some butter to add to my leafy green spinach. This should only take about um, a minute or so because you want the broccoli to maintain its integrity and not to be mushy but you know crisp and keep all the nutrients uh, from the pan so this won't take long at all. The broccoli is cooked so I'm now adding the broccoli to the leafy green spinach with all that butter sauce. So there you have it, you've got your protein, the meat, some vegetables, be it mushrooms and red onions and spinach and broccoli. Now obviously this is to feed a couple of people so it'll probably run out in a day or so. Now I'm going to let the food to cool and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for storage. So it wasn't hard to do, it was very easy and very quick to cook up the protein and the vegetables. If you've enjoyed watching this video on how I prepare my ketogenic food for the week or maybe a couple of days, please then don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and, and also click the notification bell for all the upcoming videos. Mm, it sounds like my mother's sneezing. So on that note, thank you again for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.